Today, I'm bringing you behind the scenes with me as we shoot three commercial jobs with the Sony a7S III. My name is Chris. I'm a part-time content creator. I make a bunch of different things, which you're gonna see in today's video, but I shoot with Sony cameras. So if you're into that, maybe try hit and subscribe down below. Now, Epidemic Sound kindly sponsored today's video, so it allowed me to shoot these commercial jobs for free. Now, they are clients that I've worked with before to do proper paid work, but by shooting for free, it gives me total freedom, total flexibility. There's no pressure on either party. I know I wanted to make a video about how to shoot these, the BTS, that kind of thing, talking about the music. So that's why I wanted to do it for free. I'm gonna show you some behind the scenes while I was shooting each video. Or will I talk to you about what it is that I'm thinking and the music choices that I kind of thinking in my head will work with the edit that I'm gonna end up creating. To elaborate on music a little bit, I use Epidemic Sound for all of my YouTube videos like this, but you may not be aware, they actually have a commercial plan too. So if you're a one man band or you have a production company, you make videos for businesses, for clients, then you're able to actually take advantage of their commercial plan. And you get everything from the personal plan two, which is over 32,000 tracks, and everything is cleared for online use, social media, even places like Vimeo. It's also very affordable in that you don't have to pay a per song licensing fee. If you have the subscription, you can just use whatever you want. We'll chat more about music later on, but know that all the music used in today's video was from Epidemic Sound, and as an added bonus, there's actually a discount code at the end of the video for you too. So first up, we had a custom kitchen company. The idea for this video was to create something they can use on social media and on their website. It's a family run business that gets most of their clients through referrals and more recently social media. So we needed to create something that was short to the point, but kind of generic in that it appeals to the masses. So in my head, I instantly had an idea that we could use. Josh, one of the owners, was going to talk about the business or is going to talk about the business as we're overlaying B-roll on top of that. That's how you're actually meant to use B-roll. You have your content, your story, your meat and potatoes of the video, and then you have B-roll which goes over the top to it to just add to that. You don't just throw B-roll into a timeline and do what you want with it. We knew going into this, this is what we were gonna do. So Josh prepared a script, something he wanted to talk about, about 30 seconds in length, and he prepped it, practiced it, and he actually ended up doing really well for someone that isn't used to being on camera. And then for the B-roll, I wanted them to just go about their regular day, cutting things, spraying things, sanding things, and that's how I captured my B-roll. This is one of the most common styles of commercial videos you'll see, someone talking, things interlaced over the top of it. Very simple, very easy to shoot as well. When it came to the music for this video, I knew I needed something with a beat. Although it's a shorter video, I needed something to keep it moving, but I also wanted it to be happy and almost like corporate feeling, but more relaxed, if that makes sense. This wasn't an edit where I had the music in there first and then based the edit around that. It's the complete opposite. I edited the entire video, it was nearly complete, and then I added the music in. Because of that, you could pretty much take the music out and put in another very similar style of music and it would work just as well. Let's take a look at how the video came out. Hi, I'm Josh from JD Cabinetry. JD Cabinetry was established in 2015 and started out as a father-son duo. We've since grown to a five-man manufacturing shop. We specialize in custom kitchens, but also build things such as bars, wall units, vanities, and all things residential cabinetry. During our projects, we assist you in the design all the way through to the installation. We're located in Anniskillen, Ontario, and primarily service the Durham region, as well as the GTA and Quartal Lakes. When you're ready to build your dream kitchen, give us a call for a free consultation. Next up, we had a Muay Thai video. If you've been a long time subscriber to this channel, you know this is something I really enjoy shooting. In my head for this video, I had a real idea already how I wanted the video to come out. I wanted to have like a cold look with super fast cuts, very quick pacing. As I've trained in Muay Thai myself, I wanted to replicate the feeling of training, of sparring, and I wanted it to be uncomfortable, almost confusing, so you don't really know what's going on. You just know that it's fast, quick, and Full of action. This was a real great test for the Sony A7S III's rolling shutter because everything was handheld and there was a lot of a lot of movements like this. So you're really going to see any form of rolling shutter, and you'll see in the video in a second it handled it fantastic. Let's take a look at some behind the scenes and listen to some of my tips while I'm shooting this kind of video. So again, super close up with the hands here, all handheld today. Very little shots on the gimbal because we don't want those smooth shots. We want action, really in the moment kind of thing. And I'm 
not overly worried about it being completely in focus because it also adds to the greenness of the look that I'm going for. So again with a heavy bag now, we're going super wide and then I can just follow all of his movements when I need to. With using this lens as well, I can just quickly punch in if I need to, get a closer up, a little bit more of a tighter angle. So this light up here, uh, I want to use it in the background. If you look, I want to get real close. It adds a nice little flare in the background there. So tight, close shot, handheld, light in the background, just a nice little look. Elbow up, two, up, check, turn, up, check, turn, up, hey, one, two, up. For the music in this video, I had a look in my head already, so I knew I needed to find the music before I could even start the edit. I wanted something that had a little bit of an intro and then a drop so the pacing can increase. I ended up using the onboard mic, which might not have been the best decision, but it did end up working out. I've made a bunch of these videos before and I have ended up using literally sound from Epidemic. They have a huge list of like punches and kick sound effects. So I knew if I needed to just add the sound in post, I could. I think I ended up using a ring bell sound effect. A drinking bottle or drinking water from a bottle sound effect and a bunch of different punches. As I mentioned for this video I needed the music before I could start on the edit and the music that piece that I found that I really really liked the timing didn't work exactly so the intro kind of was a bit too long before the beat hit so what I ended up doing is cutting it and splicing it together from different parts of the song so that it matched the timing that I needed and it ended up working out really well and I think you'll agree with me that you can't even tell and this is my favorite of the videos that I shot this edit took me close to six hours to make Next we have a co-working space promo video for a client that I've worked with before that they've just opened up. Now for this one, I didn't really plan it out very well. It was a brand new space. It was literally two weeks old and I had not seen it before. So I didn't really know what it was that I was walking into. I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. Always try and plan in advance if you can. And because of the way that I didn't plan, it didn't come out exactly how I wanted to. There's a couple of little errors couple of little problems I have with it. We'll talk about after you've seen it. So what I ended up doing is once I got into the space and I saw it is I approached it much like I do a real estate job. So I saw the different spaces and saw we needed to go in and out of some of the rooms to show some movement. And um, that's how we ended up shooting it. Here's some BTS and tips from shooting that job. All right, so this time we are filming a like spotlight kind of showcasing this new space. Uh, it's called The Park, it's a co-working space. Uh, I'm gonna be using the Ronin this time, so a gimbal, want much smoother shots, parallax movements around doors, that kind of thing. 1635 F4 on the A7S3, let's do it. So I treat this much like I'm treating real estate. Nice wide lens, little tiny parallax movements, just to showcase the space. If you're using a really wide lens and you're just shooting just kind of like this, it doesn't really show much movement, but as soon as you add an object in the foreground, it gives you a lot more movement. You always want to do the ninja walk when you're using a gimbal just to reduce any of the up and down movement which is movement the gimbal can't counteract. Into that thought process. This is Spotify. <laughs> that's working. I'm running the music right now. That's it, that's a job. Someone's got to do it. Showing ever so slight little movements just to show the whole space. I realized that it wasn't gonna work exactly how I envisioned. Just moving from space to space, it's quite a big open space. So by just doing that, it's gonna become boring very quick. So I needed some, some glue or some story to hold it together. So they actually had a coffee shop or an espresso bar on site. And what I decided was to shoot the process of making a coffee briefly or loosely. And that was the basis for the story. And it actually ended up working pretty good in my opinion. So we just had the coffee making process and then we showcased the co-working space throughout. I know when it came to music that I wanted a a coffee shop 
kind of vibe feel to it. That same similar style of music you get when you walk into a coffee shop. I went on, I found the coffee shop style music, the chill kind of lounge music, and I found a piece I liked, threw it into the timeline, and I edited to the beat. Epidemic actually has a pretty big selection of this kind of music, like chill hop or lounge style music. It's typically music that you'll have heard in my videos before, the background tracks, the music you'll have heard in today's video with the titles overlaid on it too, uh, so you know what some of them are. So if you like that kind of music and you wanna use it in your videos, they have a bunch to choose from. Once I watched back the video in the edit, it was all done, I realized I kinda needed something extra. So I ended up recording a voiceover just to myself, played around with different tones and ways of talking and ended up settling for what you're gonna hear in a second. And I think it came out quite well. It would work without the voiceover too, but I kind of like the feeling that it has with the voiceover. So let's take a look at the video and see how it came out. Swing on by the park, a co-working space with a fully staffed on-site espresso bar. There's private offices rentable by the month and a ready to record podcast studio too. The park is the perfect place to focus, close a deal, or grow your business without having to make expensive long-term commitments. The Park, located at 182 Wellington Street, Bowmanville. So it didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to. There's a few continuity issues in there and that's mostly due to it being like an active space that was functioning when we were there. If we had wanted to, we probably could have just closed it down for half an hour or 20 minutes or something to get the shots we needed and planned out a little bit better. Little things like you'd see someone in one shot and then in the next shot you'd see the same person but they're in a different location or you'd see someone and then another wide shot and you can see in the background that the person's not there. Little things like that shouldn't happen if you plan properly so if you're gonna take something away always plan your videos properly. So there we go, three commercial videos shot with the Sony a7S III, all varying styles, all very different, all complemented hugely by the music that we ended up picking for the edit. The music actually being the base of the edits for two of those videos. So music was picked before we even started editing the video. When it comes to picking music on Epidemic Sound, there's a few different ways to do it, but my personal preference is to go by genre or just search the feeling or the vibe that you wanna get and it will give you that kind of music. So if you want happy, upbeat music, just search for happy, upbeat, and it will give you a bunch of options. Literally download it, drag and drop, throw it onto your timeline, Bob's your uncle, it's as easy as that. With Epidemic 2, if you don't like, let's say the, the vocals or the beat, you can actually download the stems of a track, which is the separate parts of the track when put together make the track. So download the stems and it has the beat as one track, the lyrics as one track, the melody is another track, and you just use what you want, which is pretty useful, and I use that all the time. And my favorite artist, someone you're gonna have heard a lot of the music from recently, and in this video today, is by someone called Fruk. Fruk? F-R-O-O-K? I think it's Fruk, but it's that person. That's who I like right now. So if you're a one-man band creator like myself, or you're a production company and you need music, you need sound effects, definitely consider trying Epidemic for their commercial plan. You get everything from the personal plan, which is over 32,000 tracks, 65,000 and growing sound effects. It's also very affordable, which is pretty important if you're a solo creator, just grinding and making your videos for business and clients. You don't have to pay per song. A monthly plan is $49 a month, or if you want to do it for the year, it's $2.99, which works out to be $25 a month. So you save a little bit there too. And as an added bonus, there's a discount code down below. I'll probably slap it on the screen Screen right there for you too. Thank you to Epidemic for sponsoring today's video. This video was packed full of information, so I really do hope you got something out of it. How I shoot, how I think, how I approach my edits in terms of music, lots of stuff. So yeah, if you liked it, please consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed to this channel. Maybe share it with a friend, whatever you want. Anything helps, I appreciate it. Right, thank you for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Ow. I hit my head on the mic. <laughs>